Uh, hello guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. And guys, right now I'm out obviously at Regent Strip. Ting ting. Oh, wait, 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 we got. Whoa, whoa. Well, guys, obviously it's going to be a bike check on that soon, but this is not what the video is about today. But guys, before we start this video, make sure you guys are subscribed for more Sarty content like this on my channel. Turn post notifications on. Follow my Instagram on the screen right now, where it usually is. Because I haven't made one of these videos in a while, but this is a tutorial video since it's been highly requested on my channel. Like, proper highly requested. So I want you guys to bang views on this. Like the video right now. Because it's about to be lit. Alright guys, so the first trick of this tutorial is going to be the knee knock. Now guys, I'm going to show you on the screen what a knee knock is. But the angle is going to be on the floor down like this. A little bit, a little bit higher than this. That's because it's by my, I'm by myself today and it's just a tripod so it can only go so high. But, first trick is obviously going to be a knee knock. Gonna, it's going to be, look, the knee knock's going to be right, right there, you ready? I'm going to go into the frame right now, I'll show you what a knee knock is. Alright guys, so right now I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to do a knee knock, where you need to be, how to land it first time. Actually, it's not going to be first try for you lot, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you because why not? You guys need to learn. All right, so I'm going to place this camera on the floor again. I'll show you where your knee needs to be on the seat. But actually, I can explain it right here. So, now guys, when you come into a knee knock, your foot obviously has to be on the frame because you haven't learned how to do jump to the yet. And your knee has to be somewhere like, what? So somewhere in the middle, like there. To make sure your balance point is perfect. But guys, I might as well show you because it's no good of me explaining it to you because you guys won't understand. But I'm going to quickly show you. I'm not gonna, I'm going to show you on two wheels because you guys already saw it on one wheel. But I'm going to show you where you need to be, how to get onto the frame, stuff like that, where to land it, all of that good stuff. So let's put this camera back on the floor. Foot needs to go here, knee needs to go there, like I said, and then over, land. Show that again. So your knee needs to be right here in the middle, leg has to be turned all the way foot on the frame, bring it up, here, oh you guys can't see that, but essentially, your knee needs to be in the middle, bring it back there, bring it back Alright guys, so what I was trying to tell you guys in that clip is where your knee has to be placed and all that good stuff like that, but guys please bear with me because I can't just make this video as good as possible because there's no one here to record for me so it's kind of confusing right now, I don't really know where to set the camera up, I don't know if you guys can actually hear me or not. Obviously you guys can hear me right now because I'm talking directly to the camera, but when it's on the floor, you might have trouble hearing me, so if you can't hear me, I'll probably put titles on this video. So I'm sort of writing to let you know, let you guys know what I'm doing, because, yeah, you guys need to know what I'm doing. But guys, the next trick we're moving on to is a seat stand. Now guys, the seat stand is one of my favorite tricks. I love to seat stand. That's what we're going to move on right now. I'm going to show you where it is. Then we can move on to teaching you guys. Alright guys, so that is the seat stand. We're going to try and move to a more empty place to finish off this video. We did not finish yet, but we're going to try empty more to a more empty place because this place is actually quite busy, too many cars. And yeah, I'm pretty much waffling, but that was the seat stand. Let's get into me teaching you guys where your foot needs to be, how to do it, two ways of pulling up with it, and all of that good stuff. So let's get into it right now. All right, guys, so I basically forgot that I did bring up the head mount today with me, so I can actually film the video using the head mount because it's a way better angle, so look at my trick. So when I'm showing you guys what the trick is, I can show you in a third person angle on the tripod, but then I can show you some clips on how to do it with the GoPro right now. It's not the best, it's not, it's probably facing down quite a bit because that's what's, that's how I'm going to show you the trick. So, now when you come into a, a C stand, you're obviously on the frame right here. See that? There. Make sure your pedals always lined up. And when you jump up to the thing, I jump up to a seat like this. But, some people, they like, just getting up to the seat like that to get their balance. And it also, like, well, some people just like doing this, just jumping seat, just jump to the seat like this, like that, and then carrying a wheelie. But I don't like doing it that way. I like, personally, I like doing it like this way, doing this, get your foot in the middle like this, and balance usually your left foot or your right foot. But guys, your back foot that's not on your seat is the one that's going to be helping you balance. So, this one here, you can see going forward and back, is a foot that I'm keeping my balance with in a wheelie so that I can actually just 
keep the seat stand obviously because we ain't no worms out here so we don't drop that wheel but let me show you what it looks like when I put that technique into work so let's get into this wheelie real quick see that we ain't no worms out here also show you the other one But obviously guys I didn't land that one because I don't like getting up to the seat that way but my way worked obviously so jump into the seat very quick easy light work just jump from seat to frame from frame to seat like this bang in the middle keep your balance and just keep that wheel up you heard I'm also going to show you guys how to pull up from the seat right now so let's do that get some of that speed Go to the frame, put your foot there, and you just pick up, but you pull back, you pull back, and do that. I, also, I somehow didn't land that, but I say pull up, put your foot here, put all your weight to the back, push down the suspension a little bit, and pull up. Not a difficult, easy trick to show off to your friends, good tricks to do during laps. And yeah, that's all I can say about that trick, but let's now move on to a different trick. All right guys, so the next trick I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is a little combo. Now guys, this combo ain't hard. Trust me, it's not hard. I learned it, so like one of the first combos I learned. And it's gonna consist of you getting to that knee knock, getting to frame and going to that seat, putting the knee knock together, learning that seat stand, cause you just learned how to do a seat stand, you just learned how to do a knee knock, so now you can actually put them two together and make a sick combo out of it. So that's what the third trick's gonna be, it's gonna be a little combo. Obviously I'm gonna show you guys what it is. But guys, I'm just gonna be using a head mount right now cause that third person angle does not look good. POV looks way better, trust me guys, it does. But I'm only showing that combo right now so you guys know how to do it. Then we'll go through the steps and how to keep your balance and all of that good stuff. So let's get into it right now. Alright guys, so now I've shown you, we can now go through the steps on how to do it, so you guys can land this drawn. Then there can be a first combo, your new learn, sick combo. It's actually not hard to do either. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Jesus Christ, I'm getting old, mate. I'm JK, I'm only 14 years old. For you that think I'm at 17, I'm only 14. You man, I just tapped. I don't know why people keep saying I look like 17 when I'm 14 years old. But yeah, so let's get into showing you how to do this combo. All right guys, so when trying to land this combo, you obviously got to have the energy. Determination to land this combo. There's one right behind me, like all the way back there. You can fully see on the camera, but let's show you. So when you come into knee knock guys, you already know how to do that. Make sure your legs in the middle of the seat, bring your leg over, try and use that leg to balance you out before you actually even try and go into combo because if you don't have your balance, it's just not gonna work, you're gonna drop that wheel. And we want you guys to be good, it's not worms, so. We have to help you land this. So make sure your pedal's lined up like I always say. Let's catch that speed. Come up, you pull up. Pull up here, line it up. Here, leg here, leg here, go slowly. Bring your foot, middle of your foot planted on the frame here. Use that foot to help you get the momentum to get up to here, jump, land. Keep wheeling off. But guys, it's very important that you don't just like walk up your bike. You have to go here, here, jump, hop from there. So you can keep that wheel up. It also puts, it puts a lot of pressure back up onto your back wheel to help you keep that wheel up. So then again, I'm gonna show you again. Knee here, leg over here, foot there, part of that foot, jump up, land that jar on your head. Now guys, another way of landing this is obviously this way. Do it here, you can go here, put your leg here, where your frame is there, back to land. Now guys, I think that way is easier. That's probably the way I should have taught you, but guys, always learn the hard tricks before the easy tricks, because then the easy tricks become even easier. Do not have to try to land them? That's just from personal experience. Learn the hard tricks before you learn the easy ones, because then you can land the easy ones even easier. But guys, show you the other way again. This way, here, back the frame there, turn your foot in, and land. Now guys, let's put that into action, because I didn't show you guys that one. So let's show you that right now. Light work, G, light work. 
Now guys, what I forgot to mention is obviously brake control does matter in this, obviously. It is a combo, it is balance. So make sure you guys spend a lot of time on this. Don't give up, because once you give up, you just won't land the combos, then be known as a worm, then you can't compete with your friends. You won't have much, that much fun when you're out. Plus combos are just a lot of fun when you're bored to learn them. Because swerving is just easy, you know what I mean? But swerving tutorial coming up next. Maybe next video, maybe the video after, I'm not sure yet, but it will come up next. Might do a little competition as well in that video to earn some money, you get me? To help people win, learn, maybe earn some money. You never know, but guys, that's two ways of doing it. Now guys, when you are doing it, make sure you keep your balance point because that's the most important thing. Keep practicing until you land it, and then you will eventually land it. And then you just, you feel good about yourself. It's just, when you land a combo, you feel so good about yourself. It's just the best thing in the world, mate, you know what I mean? But guys, when you eventually do that, you can finally move on to the next trick you want to learn. All right, guys, so the next trick I'm going to be teaching you guys is not really a trick, well, maybe it is, but it's obviously like a reframe. So you come here, do that, take both feet off, keep your balance, and just wheel it like that, because it's a live trick to do. Downhills and all that, do a little no footer. That's a pretty nice car, mate. It's a, it's a pretty nice car. But you just do a quick no footer, swing it, swing it into here, Get that nice little style going for you guys. You guys need to develop your own style back life. I just, guys, are literally not going to get anywhere. Don't try and copy other people's like styles, like Harry's or Solomon's and that, because that's their style. Get your own style. Be unique. Be your own person. You know what I mean? So people know who you are. Like me, I'm trying to develop my own styles, coming together a little bit. But that's the one of these. These are one of the tricks that are going to make your style look so good. It's just going to look amazing. So let's throw the GoPro on. Let's make this trick look really good for you guys. Now guys, when, I, when you're doing this trick, make sure your ass is planted all the way back at your seat. You probably should have said bum because monetization that, but I don't have to worry about that because you guys haven't got to me to 1,000 subscribers yet, which I don't understand because I put so much effort into these videos. So you guys need to subscribe right now. Get me to 1,000 subscribers for that giveaway. Huge giveaway, guys. Lots of stuff that costs a lot of money. You can guys you just resell or keep if you like. But that giveaway will not be announced until I hit 1K. But like now we can get onto this little skill skill because it's not that deep. But guys, I'm going to be first, just going to be showing the easy way. So you lift it up. Bang, keep that wheel up, you know, the vibes. Get your balance, that. And then you, what you do is get your right foot, bring it over. Make sure your brakes, I'm not using too much brake and then. So basically guys, don't be using too much brake, kind of malfunction, so I'm call my phone. But... Bring your foot over, quickly, yeah, just quick thing, quick thing. Boom, like that. Land it, you know what I mean? 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 But that's how you do it. You can do it this way as well. Take both feet off if you want. We have more speed to do that one though. But guys, I'm also going to show you from the no foot to the frame, uh, to the foot of the frame, because that's where you get your best style from. So. Who's that? Let's do that real quick. It's getting dark already, Jesus. Time flies. Yo. Whoa. Now guys, pay attention to what I just did there. When I was in my foot, I bring a foot here. I flipped this, right? I brought both feet over. And before I brought my right foot back over, I push down my left leg to keep that wheel up. So don't drop that wheel because you are a goat, son. You know what I mean? Subscribe to my channel, you're just automatically a goat. But go to no foot like this. No foot like this. Put that foot over you're like this. Push down with your left foot to keep it wheel up. Bring your right foot back over. And then the trick, easy as that, as simple as that. But now, let's move on to the outro because no more tricks until you guys request more. Guys, you're requesting videos, right? But you're not telling me what tricks to do in them. So I have no idea what to make for you guys. But I know you guys want to swerve in one, so that's coming soon. But I don't know what else to make for you guys. So let's move on to the outro real quick. All right, guys. So this is where today's video will be ending. So if you guys like the video, give a thumbs up. Subscribe, new turn post notifications on. And guys, tell me what you want to see next on my channel because my views are doing dead right now. They're lacking, not going to lie. So I need some ideas so I can make these videos better for you guys. More entertaining because I think my videos are entertaining. But you guys aren't viewing them for some reason, so we're gonna do a lot more five person videos because you guys love them. But, guys, like I said, that's the end of the video. So, I'll see you guys in the next banger.